episode 3,324. Ready for a fresh start? Moms, it's time to rediscover, rejuvenate, and renew who you are in mind, body, and spirit. Welcome to Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie, the show to help you do just that. Here's your host, certified life coach, personal trainer, and nutritionist, Christiane Wargo. Happy, happy day. I hope you're having a fabulous weekend. I know for us, whoo, it's getting a little bit warmer, which is awesome because we kind of had a little bit of a cold spell there for a couple nights and it got down to freezing. I'm ready for the snuggles, but I want to do it in warm weather. How about you? Are you ready for a fresh start? For those of you who are brand new to Creature Now, welcome to this incredible family. I'm so delighted of your presence. If you already even had the opportunity, you'll want to head on over to creaturenow.com where you can learn more and sign up for the Kisses newsletter. They keep it simple strategy, everyday solutions to live, love, and impact. Well, this episode is brought to you by AIM, inspiring connection and community. You know, in the journey of marriage, it's easy to fall into the comfortable routines and literally take your spouse for granted, right? We do it. We just assume that our spouse is going to be there for us. But what happens when you or both of you are ready for a fresh start? How can you move from mundane to magic in your marriage? How can you look at where you are right now and say, gosh, darn it, it is time to recapture the love and appreciation that brought us together in the first place. I want to feel that magic. I'm tired of just living in the status quo. I'm tired of having the world rule over our relationship. I want the magic again. I want that spark again. So let me ask you a question. Why did you fall in love with your spouse in the first place? What was it about him? What was it about her? What were you drawn to? Was it the eyes? Maybe it was the way she walked. Maybe it was the way he presented himself. Maybe he was a strong man that you knew could take care of you for the rest of your life. What made you light up when you saw him? Did he have this physique that you were like, oh, drop dead gorgeous? Do you know that guy who rides on the horse for I can't believe it's not better? I haven't seen that commercial in a long time. But you know what I'm talking about, right? If you haven't, just go look for it on YouTube. I'm sure you can just say, who's that guy riding on the horse for I can't believe it's not better? And I'm sure it'll pop up. But anyway, right? You get these flowing locks. Maybe that was your man. Maybe It was your woman who you just saw, and when she entered a room, she commanded the room. How did you see you all as a couple in your dreams? What was it? Did you just light up thinking, gosh, when we get married, we'll live in this beautiful white house with, you know, cream color on the inside, and then we'll have, you know, a pool, and we'll have two children, one girl and one boy, and maybe, maybe we'll have a third. We'll just have to see. And then we'll have this beautiful fence with three dogs. Like, what was it for you? Did you see yourself having a boat or maybe jet skis where you would go off and be gone for a couple weeks over the summer to the lake? What was it for you in your dreams as a couple? Where do you see yourself going together right now in the season that you're in? Do you even see yourself hanging out together? I mean, sometimes we get so distant from each other that we don't even see each other as being together. My friend, it's up to you and your spouse to continually keep the spark alive. You have to work at it. Because if you don't, it leads to just taking each other for granted. It's easy to say, yeah, you know, I'm okay with the status quo. The kids have got us coming and going and well, you know, I'm tired. I'm ready for bed and I get it. You have those seasons or maybe just moments, but every single day, That's when you need to put that question mark and say, gosh, am I a willing participant? Or am I just really thinking about and contemplating just continually being lazy? Because it's easy. I don't know where you sit with this, but I want to challenge you. I want to challenge you to look at your marriage, not because I think you need to work on it. I want to challenge you because God has given you a gift and you're taking that gift for granted. How rude and disrespectful is that? It really is. It's rude for you to do it to your spouse. It's rude for your spouse to do it to you. And so what if you were to turn the tables and ready yourself for a fresh start? 
That is your kiss to keep it simple strategy. Ready yourself for a fresh start. Spring is around the corner. I'm so excited. Punxsutawney Phil said spring was coming early. Come on, bring it on. I know we've hit a few 70 degree weather, you know, temperature wise, but man, I'm ready for that constant 70 degree weather with our lows only getting into like 55 to 58. That is perfection. But as much as I would like to say we have control over the seasons, we do have control over our actions. And that's where you need to ready yourself for a fresh start when it comes to your marriage, when it comes to loving the person that you're sleeping with. And maybe you're sitting here going, well, I don't sleep with them anymore. Because like, well, I'm tired, I'm lazy. I don't want to have to work at it. And if I end up in the bed, well, then I have to feel like I've got to do something. Believe it or not, that's not unusual, unfortunately. And sometimes we hit that midlife. And that midlife could be mid-30s, could be 40s or 50s. right? Midlife crisis is really, well, however you define it. For me, I don't know that I ever hit a midlife crisis. I hit the hot flashes but not necessarily the midlife crisis because I just keep going and I want it better at this moment in time than I did yesterday. And if I can better myself by 1% every single day, man, my marriage is going to be awesome. Now, I can't say I did that well at the very beginning, but we went through our tornado of life and God showed me a few things and we're a walking miracle today. We are more in love today than when we were when we first met each other. Now, I can't say we don't have struggles because we do, but we address them differently and we love each other deeply. Unfortunately, I see a lot of couples who are like, yeah, you know, it would be nice just to like, no, I want to kind of have a marriage like that couple over there, but they're not willing to put in the work. Are you ready to put in the work? Are you ready, truly ready for a fresh start. Because if so, let's ready yourself. Come on, let's do this. And one way to begin that journey into this beautiful new season of a fresh start is to be open and honest, right? You need to communicate. Communication, oh my goodness, we could spend months on this topic. Communication is key. You've got to be able to express your feelings, not pointing fingers at your spouse, but owning your feelings, being able to express your concerns, your concerns, not, well, you make me feel like this, and so therefore I have a concern about that. No. It's not about pointing fingers. It's about owning your own feelings, your own concern, your own desires to your partner. And this can help create this deeper understanding and connection between the two of you. John Gottman, a relationship expert, said couples who can talk about their feelings, needs, and desires in a respectful way will have a stronger bond. You have got to come to a point in your marriage that you can have a discussion without blowing your top. I'm talking about your, you know, your anger, your head popping off, you know, all of a sudden you've got fire coming out of your eyes and your ears. Yeah, not that kind of conversation. The heated discussions need to dissipate. But you've got to be a willing participant. So are you ready to be open and honest in a thoughtful manner? Not that's accusatory, but that's in ownership of. There is a difference. Another essential step is to prioritize quality time together. Not just quality time, but actually being together. Right? When we've got the busyness of life taking us out, because it does every single day, doesn't it? We wear that busy badge of honor. Hey, how are you? Oh, I'm so busy. I wish that response would literally go away. I wish it wasn't in vogue, but for whatever reason, that's the only statement that stays with us. You know, it used to be, oh, I want to hack my life and I want to have these hacks or um, let's see, oh, gag me with a spoon, right? That's another kind of saying that that used to be in vogue. I don't know how many (laughs) decades ago. We won't go there, right? We'll leave that for another episode. But it's something about being busy. Oh, I'm so busy. Really? Are you so busy that you're not willing to prioritize time with the one you said I do for the rest of your life till death do you part? So don't let that time slip away without truly connecting with your spouse. When I travel, I was gone for like eight days. 
let me tell you, I made time to talk to my husband. And if he was going to bed early, I made sure I either sent him a text if I couldn't get on the phone and say, hey, babe, I'm going to be late. I'm still in this conference, but know that I love you. I would send a message to him. And sometimes I would step out just so I could see his face really quick. And then he would go to bed and we would say good night. We prioritize our time together, whether we're apart physically or together in the same bed. So make that effort. Carve out moments for meaningful conversations, for meaningful laughter, right? Find time to laugh. There's an incredible movie coming out. I cannot tell you how I want everybody to go see it. Someone Like You. It's produced and written by Karen Kingsbury. You can go to the trailer right now and see it, someonelikeyou.movie. It'll be in the show notes. But let me tell you, it's an incredible romantic classic in the making. It's about true love. And it's not the way you would expect it. I'm just going to say it that way. It's going to blow your mind. It opens up in theaters on April 2nd. Mark your calendars. And let me tell you, in that movie... There's open and honest communication. There is quality time that's spent together. But are you doing it for your own relationship? It's great to see it on the big screen and, oh, it makes you feel warm and fuzzy. And you're like, I want a marriage like that. I want a relationship like that. I want to be like that. Someone like you. But you've got to be willing to put in the work. Mignon McLaughlin said this, a successful marriage requires falling in love many times, always with the same person. Are you falling in love over and over and over again with the same person? Are you? Because unfortunately, if you're taking your spouse for granted, you're not. And I know I'm guilty as charged. I do it too. I've got to be very careful. I can't let my work consume me. My business ministry Yes, is very, very important to me. But my husband still trumps that. It comes before. I love you very much. And I want to be a part of your every day. But I also need to make sure I prioritize my husband. Yes, I am one who practice what I teach. Because it's that important. And I want to leave you with this. You got to practice gratitude. And when you do so, it can work wonders in rediscovering the beauty of your marriage. And it's not just about being, oh, hey, thanks, babe, for taking out the trash. No. Take a moment every day to appreciate the little thing your partner does. Those, those little things that add up to so many big things, whether it's making a cup of coffee for you in the morning. Don't take that for granted. You may have a coffee bar in your bedroom But somebody's still got to put that little thing in there, even if it's just this little container that's already got it in there and it pokes a hole in it, poof, poof. It's the exact beautiful cup of coffee. But someone still had to push the button. Someone still had to take it to you. Don't take that for granted, right? Maybe it's sending you a sweet text during the day. My husband and I do that all the time. Hearts here, and we don't just send hearts or we don't just send kisses. We also send them with fireworks or lasers or graffiti, right? It's those fun celebrations. It's like, hello, I see you. You mean something special to me. Gratitude can shift your perspective and truly create this sense of warmth and closeness within your marriage. Gratitude is the key that unlocks a heart of love and appreciation And in order to trust beyond what you see, you've got to have love and appreciation for each other. You just do. But unfortunately, hmm, it goes out with the bathwater, but busyness stays in. At some point, you're going to have to pick and choose. At some point, you're going to have to say, there's not the perfect time to fall in love over and over and over again. I have to make time. I have to ready myself for a fresh start. I have to know that spring is around the corner. But you know what? In my marriage, it can be spring every single day. That, my friend, is worth living. So remember, a fresh start in your marriage is possible when you and your partner come together, but it does take one to start it. So don't wait for your partner and say, oh, we got to do this together. I'm just going to wait, 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 wait. No. 
You be the one who ignites the spark. Commit to making positive changes and nurturing your bond together. And when you begin to communicate openly and prioritize that quality time and truly accept your spouse, your husband, your wife for who they are and saying, I love you for what you do for me, you can reignite the spark and rediscover the joy of being in love. Yes, I'm telling you this, it will be magnificent and you'll feel the magic all over again. No matter what is going on in your world, make time for the person you're sleeping with. And if you're not sleeping with them, then I really want to challenge you. What is going on? Really dig deep and say, why are we having these struggles? So then, yes, you can sleep with the one you love and be even more in love. Go in peace, be present, be incredible, be you. I love you so very much. I cannot wait to see you on the other side. Blessings, hugs, and lots and lots of love. We'll talk to you real soon. Have a glorious, blessed day. Bye-bye. Feeling inspired, ready to train for life, and love your journey? Visit createyournow.com for more incredible resources to help you along the way. We'll see you next time on Create Your Now, Your Best Selfie. And remember, always be sure you consult your physician before beginning any health and fitness plan.